Aloha. Welcome back. In this segment, we are going to look at a very common vamp that's used in the tarot patch tuning. We're in the open G tuning, D, G, D, G, B, and D. Now, a vamp is what is usually used at the end of a verse of a song. And a lot of traditional Hawaiian songs have an eight bar vocal phrase and then a two bar vamp. And that vamp is where the hula dancers do a kaholo before the next verse comes in. And it's good to know all sorts of variations. The steel guitar, the slack key guitar, ukulele. It's a great moment for an instrumental variation or fill that happens at the end of the phrase. And a lot of Hawaiian songs are based on repeated cycles of chords that go by. And the 10 bar phrase is a very common phrase in the, in the music. So we're going to look at playing the ninth and 10th bar of a very typical uh, Hawaiian song. So the pattern, I'll play it for you very slowly, and we're going to study how to do alternate bass going from a D7 to a G chord. We're going to outline our D7 shape here, and our pinky's going to come down on the fourth fret of the high string, and then we're going to move up to this fifth position, uh, fifth fret note with our pinky to play a G. Here's the phrase. Again. Now we're going to play that again and again and again. And I want your goal to be to come up with as many variations on vamps as you possibly can. So in uh, later segments, we're going to look very carefully at doing all sorts of vamps. And you'll see them in the songs we play. As you start learning repertoire, they'll be all over the place. So, but this is one of the more common ones, so it's a really good one to know. And what we're doing, just with bass, is D for measure, going to a G chord for measure. So we're alternating for the D, 6, 4, 6, 4, and for G, 5. For, this is something we've done quite a bit already. And we're just going to try to put in these other notes over this bass line. So this bass line is going to stay consistent, and we're going to put in the melody notes above it. So let's look very carefully at what happens in the phrase. I'll play it for you very slowly. the sixth string by itself, then I play the second fret of the third string on the upbeat of the first count, one, and then I play the bass note on the downbeat of two on the fourth string, second string open on the end of two. So that's the first half of the first measure. One, and two, and. So it's like you're playing the D7 chord, but you're taking off your first finger. It's going to be a passing tone. Then on beat three, when you go back to playing the sixth string, Put it down. Then you play the high string. Then when you play the fourth string, you play that note in the bass. Right when you play the fourth fret of the high string, and you're going to slide, carry your finger up one fret. See if you can do that with your pinky and get the note to still ring. You cross over the fret wire, and the pitch changes from F sharp to G. This is going to resolve, and you're going to let that ring as we play into the next measure. So the first measure, upbeat, then with the bass, high string open, there's that slide, and we're going to play the G in the bass. Then we play the fifth string open again to the second string open. So the first measure, upbeat, upbeat, then downbeat, upbeat, downbeat, slide to the upbeat and then play the G by a pinch where you play the two notes together. Fifth string and the high string with the fifth fret. And you do that. One, two, and three, four. That measure again. One, two, and three, four. That measure is pretty easy, right? It's just the most of the motion happens over the D7 chord. Counting once again, one and two and three and four and one, two and three, four. See,
if you can practice that and get it up to different tempos. You can play it slow or fast. It's used all in all sorts of situations. And you can also work on trying to play with even eighth notes or with a swing feel. So, so far we've been doing even eighth notes. I'll play it at a faster tempo. All the, the, the notes are evenly spaced. Very common also with Hawaiian music to have swing. Those upbeats are a delayed one. And two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, four. So see if you can practice it both ways, even eighth notes or swing. Try it at various tempos, and your goal is to keep the rhythm very steady. One, two, three, four. Whatever rhythm and tempo you decide on. Try to keep that very steady all the way through. And look for some songs that we played and ones that we'll be playing very soon that use this shape. Very common, wonderful turnaround, or what we call a vamp. So have fun with that one, and I'll be back soon. Mahalo.